Hello, in this video, today we're going to talk about how to create expressive animation for your character or for any project that you're working on so you can get the best results and have the best experience for your viewer. Okay, so basically I have animated this character on Blender's um, Studios website's Rain. And as you notice, we're going to, I'm going to talk to you about some of the key positions that, um, or the keyframes that I use. So first we have our neutral pose. I'm going to press A, select for, to select all the bones. And then we have this happy pose. We have this down pose where she's out, where she's down. Then we have a worried pose, an angry pose, and back to neutral. So, as you can see, I have a bunch of frames in between to kind of show the transition, but I want to talk to you, how do we achieve that? So, one thing to keep in mind is we need to focus on appeal, exaggeration, and squash and stretch. So, from here to here, to happy, we have to have a breakdown. So, instead of it going from here to here, just kind of playing out normally like, like this, what we need to do is we need to do a twirl so from here let me turn this down okay so right here you notice how she her head goes down sorry just so there's a little there's an arc there so this is what we call arcs so her head goes down and it goes back up but notice how there's a stretch in the face. We want to always achieve the best exaggeration. So notice how one eyebrow is not. So when we're draw, when we're animating, we're not going to have a basic. We're not going to have that because one thing to in animation, 3D animation specifically, is avoiding symmetry which means that we don't want the eyebrows at the same level. We don't want to have that at the same position. So we're gonna have a bit of a unevenness there. So now we're gonna go to the next part. And notice, and this is what we call a bounce. So a bounce is usually something where instead of the ball going up, I'm just gonna get a, get a ball. Okay, so as you can see, when the ball bounces up, we can go from here to here. There's a bounce, right? But that's kind of basic. So how about we have it go up first, down, back, and then go back down again. So we kind of have this sort of this character to it. And that's what we have to keep in mind when we're animating uh, characters is that we don't want a basic transition. So if you can notice, her head bounces up and bounces back down and then bounces up again. So it goes up, down, and up again. But notice how there is an anticipation, which is another thing. So anticipation is when we tell the, let the audience know that something's about to happen by the character's emotions or their actions before they actually do it. So, as you notice, right before she's about to go here, you notice how her smile slowly fades. So that means now, I'm gonna go here, this is gonna go down. And notice how there's a curvature there? It's not just like a normal mouth where it's just like that. We wanna add some curvature. And also another thing is delay is something that you need to pay attention to too. Notice how one eyelash is lower than the other. We don't want them at the same um, length. And the thing is, you could do this and get, and get away with it really well, but sometimes adding imperfections in your character's movements will really bring out the expressiveness. So as she's going down, notice how her eyebrows go up first and then go down. They follow, that's called follow through. And notice right here, instead of her going from here to here, so just moving her head up and down, she moves it back, I'm gonna turn it around. 
she moves it back she moves it back moves it up and then moves it back down but also when we zoom in on the face I want you to pay see something really interesting so notice how there is always movement in her features there's no um, static movement so if you notice one eyelash is going down one eyelash is going up this is going uh, this is going this way there is some slight movement. And another thing is to add more character into this animation, how about instead of having her mouth be here, have her mouth sideways. So you're creating more of a worried effect. And this is this is where I was talking about squash and stretch. This is when you take a part of the character and you either stretch it to it to a limit that's not normally given to the character if they were using the move normally. By that I mean, notice how she's about to get angry, but instead of it going from here to here normally like that, we're gonna have a stretch. So her head kind of stretches, extends out. And another thing is, um, as she, there's a squash, so her head squashes down. But another thing is, um, I'm just going to pay attention here, is notice how this eyelash is lower than the other one? And this eyebrow is lower than the other eyebrow. And notice, instead of having the mouth here, we angle it. And have one lip lower and the other lip lower as well so adding imperfections is really going to make your stuff stand out and another thing is since this is super fast the viewer probably can't tell but it looks really smooth but another trick I want to tell you is that sometimes adding little strange movements in the jaw will really make it look smooth so notice how her jaw doesn't stay in the center when she's shaking her head vigorously it moves to the side so notice how it looks it looks really weird I know that it looks really weird it looks like you know it's very strange but notice how that stretch creates a transition and it just slows down I'm just gonna play that part really quick and also it's there's a slow out on that part so it means it's, it gets fast and it slows down so She's shaking her head vigorously, and then it slows down. So basically, it's almost like we take this point, and it's moving really fast, and it slows down. Okay, and also another thing is when you're doing angry faces or expressions, try to aim for a lot of, um, because when you, know, when you look at an animated film, some of the best animated films have a lot of um, unevenness to create the expression. So if you notice, her mouth is not just like this. It's not like that. It's more angled. And that's what we call exaggeration. We're pushing it past its normal limits. And then it goes back to normal. But not even, even with that, even when you, when you see that, another thing to pay attention to is her mouth goes down and then goes back up. So those are some key things to remember when you're animating these characters. I'm going to give you another example in just a minute. But if there's any takeaways from the day, push for appeal, push for exaggeration, and push for squash and stretch. I, those will make it really well. And also unevenness, so making the characters' expressions uneven, not, too sim not symmetrical. I have another animation. 
this is another character from Blender's projects. But another thing is, this one's a little bit different. A little bit of a slower movement, like a head tilt. But I was going to let you see that. Notice how her eyebrows um, are uneven. Because she's kind of confused. So there's a little bit of an arc. There's a little bit of a curvature there. Her mouth is to the side. And another thing um, to keep in mind is when a character is static and they're looking at something, one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes if you pay close attention, sometimes the eyelashes will flutter a little bit. If you notice, her eyelashes are kind of fluttering a bit. It's kind of hard to notice, I know, but if you pay really close attention, there's a little bit of eyelash fluttering but another thing is the pupils these are moving very slowly and it's kind of hard to notice one thing to remember is whenever a character is looking or in a certain direction move the eyes first and then have the head follow that way it'll feel more realistic and it's not just floaty and um, basic in movement this is my first Blender video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe and I will be putting more animations out in the future.